manatees are starving, why don't we just feed them? This is a good question, and it's one that I've seen a lot in our inbox as we've been answering questions from members. I love manatees, I love writing about them, and I think it's pretty clear from our inbox that you all love these giant, gentle sea cows too, so I thought that I would just come on here and uh, try to help answer this question. Okay, so the bad news. Manatees are definitely in trouble. Off of Florida's coast, 20% of all manatees died in just two years, and a lot of that was from starvation. So why is this happening? Okay, so the problem here actually begins on dry land. Maybe that doesn't surprise some of you. So the problem begins as rain pours over development and agriculture, and as it goes, it picks up all this nasty stuff like sewage overflows and fertilizer and manure and that polluted runoff then enters our bays. So that runoff is full of nutrients like phosphorus, which make things grow. So then in the water, those nutrients contribute to these gigantic algal blooms, which are actually so humongous that they can block sunlight from reaching the ocean floor. Without sunlight, the seagrass dies, and without seagrass, the manatees die. Okay, so then the question is, why don't we just feed them ourselves? And actually, we have tried this. In one feeding program, Florida wildlife officials threw 400,000 pounds of heads of lettuce into the bays to try and give manatees the food that they needed to survive the winter. But let's just think about that for a second. If the only way to keep a species from vanishing is to hand feed them hundreds of thousands of pounds of human food, something is very wrong. And remember, the problem began up here with this nasty polluted runoff. So the manatees dying is our signal that something is out of balance in this whole system. So just feeding the manatees, and not to mention now we have to produce thousands and thousands of pounds of lettuce every year to keep them alive, which could lead to who knows what other problems. We're not really listening to that signal and we're not fixing what's wrong. It's like addressing the symptom, not the disease. If we want healthy coastal waters that can support unique wildlife like manatees, then we have to go to the source. So that means funding water infrastructure projects that keep sewage and fertilizer out of Florida's waters. And we shouldn't stop there. Florida wildlife officials need funding to better protect manatee habitat in a lot of different ways. So there's a bipartisan bill in Congress called the Recovering America's Wildlife Act. And this bill would send money to states so that they would have what they need to be able to do the hard work of keeping wildlife from slipping. I hope this answered your question. And if you have any others, please let us know. Okay, also, uh, my favorite manatee fact. Did you know that manatees have no natural predators? Nobody hates these guys. They have no enemies. We really gotta protect them. <laughs>